Okay, so now let's go on the programming side. So we go to the machining cycles. First we have to name the piece, yeah? making a new workpiece. Yeah? Then a list of different can cycles will pop up. Yeah? Yeah, so I will do some cutting now. I got a technology page where I have to enter yeah, the tool. Yeah, so you see a button here. This looks like a cutter. This will guide me to my tool library. We can hold 200 different tools in there. I will pick tool number three, which is a 35 degree external right. Yeah. So then I have to make decision if it's a longitudinal cut or transverse cut, internal boring. Yeah? So basically we page through different options. Okay, that's what I need. Now decision for roughing or finish or complete machining. Enter my depth of cut, yeah? a start point, finish allowance for X and Z, a cutting speed, feed rate for roughing and finish. What's missing is the profile, so I will hit the contour button. So basically we are using different icons for face move, chamfer, taper, relief, face, chamfer. Finished with that, we can go on a simulation screen, moving on a single stroke. Uh, so the purple one, this is your given profile uh, and you will see now your tool pass and you can watch the X and Z numbers as well. So I will go now on single stroke without a start. Uh, uh. Okay, simulation looks fine for me. So I can hit end simulation. Now I have to tell the machine where is the part zero. So that means I have to touch the face. Do a face cut. and say this is my zero. So now I'm ready to execute cycle. <laughs>